All right, welcome back to the Morning Blend. Two baseball fans love the sport at any level. And this year in Milwaukee, we have another option to capture the old pastime. The Milwaukee Milkmen debuted at Routine Field in Franklin this past spring. That's right. We are joined now by two pitchers from the team. We've got Miles Smith and Kurt Heyer. Welcome to the Morning Blend, guys. Thanks for having us. Great yes, to see you guys. Cool. Yeah, welcome to Milwaukee as well. So this is pretty exciting. This is the very first inaugural season of the Milkmen. What do you guys think so far of the team? Um, it's been an experience. It's been a fun one. Enjoying the ride. You know, all the fans make it a lot easy. So, yeah, I I'm think enjoying it. Personally. It's so it's such yeah. a catchy name for a team. I think I love your mascot. I was at a game. Bovine. What is the mascot? A couple Bovine. weeks ago. It's, oh, yeah. 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 There's my picture with them. <laughs> See, um, it's it's fun. I think the field is fantastic. What do you guys? Because you guys have played at a lot of different fields and different levels and high school and college. What do you think? What do you think of routine fields? It's it's very intimate. It like you can feel like you're with the crowd because it's really open and stuff. It's not really like. There's not much like space in yeah. the fans in the field. No, so seriously. Kind of you, interact. Like, yeah. Kids will come down the bullpen, guys will come down the bullpen, and we kind of talk to them, hang out with them, interact, high five them, you know, like, yeah. we like it. The turf's awesome. Like, yeah, because yeah, it's a brand a new easier. field. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, when you guys think about playing for a team like this, because a lot of people, I think they, they get confused between like um, teams that are pro, semi pro, uh, coll collegiate leagues. So, how do you describe this team to people so that they understand what you what you are? Um, it's just uh, it's another form of pro baseball, obviously, because we're getting paid to do it, and um, it's just kind of like another side road for people like us trying to get back to affiliated ball. Um, okay. It's kind of like uh, just like the AFL or like. Basketball players going overseas. Is it considered like a minor league? Uh, or? No, it's just a non-affiliate. Okay. Yeah. Professional team. So it's like, not like a feeder program, no. but like a lot of people think of. No, but I mean, a lot of people get the misconception that Milwaukee Milkmen are affiliated with the Brewers, right. like the Chicago Dogs are affiliated with the Cubs, and but I mean, you kind of do have that feeling where you think like, oh, if I do well, I can go up there. It's it creates that you know that feeling of affiliated ball, yeah. which is good. I mean, it's a good place to play. Um, and I think everybody should play there for for uh, for sure. Awesome. I want to go back a couple of years. I hope I have this right. Kurt, you were drafted in 2012 by the St. Louis Cardinals, yes. correct? And then Miles, for you, you were in 2013 drafted by the Boston Red Sox. Yes. Just, I just w would love to know what it feels like yeah. to be drafted like that. And and you, were you in, both in college at the time? Yes. What did it feel like? Uh. It was actually really surreal. I was walking around campus kind of just waiting because I, I, I was like hoping it would happen. And, you know, it happened like I think the second day and my, my family called me up. It was like, we just saw it. I'm like, I didn't see it. And I was literally just kind of going about my business. And then my agent at the time said, hey, the Cardinals just picked you up. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's awesome. It's a great organization. They do a great job developing their players. And I just couldn't have been happier getting selected. I mean, not many people get that chance. And everybody wants to know what that feels like. And obviously, I think that's why the Milkmen are here, to get people to have that same feeling. So it was good. How about you, Miles? Mine was weird. I was actually playing basketball with my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be doing but I was at the gym. And after we get done, I have like 10 missed calls from my parents, from my agent, and they're like, answer the phone, like answer the phone, call them back. I'm like, what happened? I'm playing hoops. Yeah, yeah I'm come busy. on. They're like, you've been drafted. And I was like, that is surreal. So I had to call the team and I apologize. But I think it was a great experience. It was, it was an awe-inspiring experience. Like, you Exciting. Don't expect it. Yeah. You want it to happen, but you don't expect it to happen. Mm -hmm. So. Good for you. Yeah, you guys are both pitchers. Yes. Yeah. Um, which one is harder, being a starter or being a relief pitcher? Because I feel like there's <laughs> different pressures. Go ahead and start on both fighting. Spots. No, you can no, say yourself. No. So here's the thing: is like I'm a starter, and usually you have to be ready every five days. He's our closer, and he's got to be ready almost every game. Right. And th I think it's obviously there's a lot of um, pressure in both situations. I mean, there's a longevity to being a starter, but then there's that little open wind little window for mistakes like he has to deal with so. yeah you gotta pick up his yeah. slack no, <laughs> no you gotta pick up my slack well. he's, he's being nice starting is way harder way harder i just have to get three outs he has to get 
try to get 27. 20, 20, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty 20. crazy. Pretty crazy. I know you went to the um, University of Arizona um, and led the team to uh, the College World Series. You guys have had exciting moments yeah. in your career. We have some rapid fire questions that oh. we love to ask some people. Fun stuff. And then we're going to close with because you're on a nine game homestand that started yesterday through Monday and you've got some great themes going on. But we got to get to our rapid fire questions. Oh, yes. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes, oh, we yeah. um, Walk up song. Way. What is it? Ooh, mine, Down Below by Roddy Rich. Okay. Uh, Gladiator Zayday Wolf, I believe. Okay. Uh, hopefully I didn't butcher that name. Do you love hearing it, both of you, your walk-up song? Pump you up. What walk-up songs? Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think yeah. we have them. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. Haven't, they haven't played them yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what team? In my head. <laughs> right, there you go. There you go. What team did you grow up uh, watching? Oh, God. Um, so I'm from Huntington Beach, California, and I grew up watching the Angels, but my parents are from the East Coast, and they're huge Yankee fans. So <laughs> that's not really allowed no. on, on the West Coast, but I sometimes try to sneak away to watch a Yankee game, even though much, most of my friends are watching Angel games. I'm like, I'm going to watch this. <laughs> really good team over here, and then Angels are good, but I mean, not the same as the Yankees, but I, I like both teams. Both. I grew up watching the Tigers, but I love the Mets because Jose Reyes was my favorite player at the time when I was younger. So. That was another awesome. one of our yeah. questions. Um, any hidden talents? You go first, man. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you mine. I, I don't have many hidden talents, but Kurt, Kurt does a good Peter Griffin. Oh, jeez. Oh, you do? You, gotta hear it. you have to hear it. I do need to hear it. I love Peter Griffin. Oh, Kurt. Oh my you God! Can do it. Ready? I was hoping we got this. Ah, <sighs> uh, ah, uh, this chair. Ah, uh, feels so smooth. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, it is. Ah, uh, how you how you doing that? How you doing that? Ah, uh, every feels everything feels fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. That was awesome. <laughs> you yeah. sound identical to him. That's awesome. Oh, That's good. Hey, thanks. <laughs> the next one, what's your favorite thing in your closet to wear? Oh, like clothing? Anything Lulu? <laughs> Anything Lulu? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're that age. Um, if you were not playing baseball, what would you be doing? Oh, God. I asked my teammates this, and they said I was going to be a PE teacher. I'm <laughs> like, a PE teacher. <laughs> I would love to. Actually, I, I have a passion where I want to be an actor one day. I I, I like doing voices, and I and like doing Peter Griffin voice. Yeah. Uh, no, like it, it's one of those things. I had a set plan when I was little. I wanted to be a baseball player, and then an actor, and then once I had my name built up, I'd be an artist because I love art too. So. Um, You're on track. Yeah, I'm a third of the way there, kind of. So I just need to <laughs> hopefully find someone who wants my acting ability. There, there you go. go. That's yeah. next. How about I want to start my own consignment shop. Like I'm big into shoes, like gym shoes, Jordan is like retro. So like. I want to start mowing like that's shoes. so I cool. I that's love that. Smart. We did a lot of consignment shopping when yeah. we were up north. The last question. First thing you noticed about a woman. Uh, eyes. Eyes. I love that. I was going to say actually yeah. eyes too. Eyes. eyes are my weakness. All right. OK. Yeah. I like it. It was great to meet you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being pleasure. here. Good luck oh, on this long stretch it. coming up. It's now through the 26th. Hallelujah. The homestand is going on right at Routine mm. Field in Franklin. Got to head out and see the Milwaukee Milkmen. MilwaukeeMilkmen.com is the website for more. And they were really nice to give us some tickets. Woo -woo. So right now, if you want to go out there, head on out. And you can call us at 414-799-4444. Caller number seven will win a four-pack of tickets to Thursday's game. It's this Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. That's right. Thursday, Thursday. You got some great great deals on drinks. Um, there's a napping station. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And a selfie Where's corner. That at? And so, a millennial night. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to let you guys know so you, you can check. Napping station. <laughs> if yeah. you're not pitching, you can hang out there. Thanks, you guys. Great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks so yeah, much for your time. Good luck this season.